Hey guys, welcome back. So now here in this session, we'll talk about customer down payment since we are in account receivable. So guys, if you talk about the customer down payment, this is quite similar to vendor down payment. So the only thing is down payment means down payment means advance payment right so if you talk about vendor down payment we have vendor down payment what we have seen guys we have done some certain configurations and testing is already done right so in that like whatever the advance payment is made to the vendor that we have seen like how it is going to be posted into sap <coughs> with the help of special gl indicator here in case of customer also same thing is there right in case of customer also down payment we are going to receive let's suppose for certain customer uh, if the customers are new and uh, you know there is no good uh, credit score and all uh, so in that case the company may demand like okay we'll supply you we'll deliver you the goods or services whatever it is only if you are going to pay 30 percent 40 percent amount in advance right so whatever this advance we are receiving that is a kind of payment right so here if, if that is going to be posted in sap and and here the payment will be like it is going to be posted by using the same document type normal payment or down payment both are going to be posted against same document type these it for customer if you talk about vendor it was KZ document type. So how we are going to differentiate the normal payment and down payment case? So we are having special GL indicator. Whatever down payments are there, that is going to be posted against special GL indicator, and it is going to be treated as a special transactions. This is how we can treat. This is how the user will come to know that yes, this is a down payment. So what is the configuration steps guys? First of all, we have to create a down payment reconciliation account. Now somebody just let me know why to set up this reconciliation account guys. Anyone because multiple time I have explained about this reconciliation account. You let me know your understanding about this. What do you mean by reconciliation account? So that we can uh, see all the receivables uh, against one GL. So if there are multiple vendors and uh, we have assigned the reconciliation account to all those vendors and we have we want to see the total receivables so we can uh, check the balance of this GL account and we can see. So there is no relation between vendors and receivable here, right? Do we have any receivable for vendors? Sorry, do we have? Any receivables for vendors? Receivable for vendors? You're saying like vendors and uh, some, and then the, you're saying like receivables, we have to see the total receivables. Right. <coughs> Yes. Now repeat again. So I'm, I'm, I'm saying that. Uh, so there will be uh, several. Sorry, I, I said I was supposed to say customers. So I, I said vendors. It's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Customers. Yeah. Yeah. Customers. So if, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here you talk uh, like create down payment reconciliation account. Why to set up this down payment reconciliation account? Is there any logic behind this?
Okay, so I'll tell you guys, and what is the benefit of this, uh, uh, like if we set up our real jail account, let's suppose you can say, uh, what do you said, like we can say like total receivables and all. Okay. Apart from this, any other uses? <coughs> any other benefit apart from this? The same customer may be providing like you know, two different services where you can link, link like a two different reconciliation account. No, that is a different concept. Here the benefit is will be there in financial statement version. What benefit? So guys, like financial statement version, uh, again, for those who has not liked uh, for the first time, you're saying this, so it will be covered later. There is a topic called financial statement version. Financial statement version, what is this financial statement, guys? Financial statement, at least we all might be knowing, right? Financial statement is the combination of your profit and loss and balance it which shows the financial health of a particular organization where it is going to show the how, you know, what is the performance of a particular organization in a particular financial year, right? So with the help of financial statement, only people will come to know the performance of the organizations, what is their profit, what is their loss, what is their assets, what is their liabilities and all, whoever the investors are there, these people will have a look on the financial statements only of the organizations and then they'll come to know that, okay, this you know, organizations is doing well or not. Whoever the investors are there, based on their, you know, calculations, these people will plan to, uh, you know, invest in these organizations, right? Now, so in financial statement version, generally what happened, guys? We are going to assign the ZL accounts. Financial statement version here, uh, if you talk about the manual preparations of financial statement, Way back, like uh, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years back, when the ERPs were not there in the market in those days, people used to do all the calculations manually, which was quite a kind of hectic activity. But in SAP, what is happening, guys? In SAP, whatever the transactions are going to be posted, it is posted against a particular GL account. So if we talk about the balance what is the total rent which we have like what is the total rent uh, uh you know amount rent means even it can be two things rent means let's suppose receivables and payables what is the total rent payable in the sense what is the total rent we have paid so that is going to be treated as a uh you know uh, expense whatever the rent amount we have received that is your assets or something Right, that is your sorry revenue or income, right? So even two GLs account, two GL account also will be created in this case. So now here, so instead of so here, what is happening, guys? These GL accounts are going to be assigned against financial statement version, and easily, <coughs> easily it is going to be prepared because automatically system is going to fetch all the balances from GL account itself. Now, so this is what the benefit here. If you talk about the total receivable, what is our total receivable? I'm talking about the account receivable. Okay, where the all customer balances, whatever the out, outstanding amounts are there, that is going to be shown. Right? So total receivable means multiple customers we are having. And against every customer we are having multiple amounts. So first of all, you have to check, you have to make this. Whatever these amounts are there, you have to consolidate these all amounts. So no need to go for manual consolidations here. Why? Because we are having reconciliation concept, guys. Okay. So the reconciliation concept means we have to we have created let's suppose one GL account, and this GL account is going to be assigned against every customers. So here, what will happen? 
So here we are going to get this. Okay, so now here. So now, so look at here guys, we can get uh, from this DL account, we can get the consolidated figure up instead of, you know, like consolidating this balance here one by one. We can get, if you are going to check this reconciliation account, you'll be getting the, you know, total overall consolidated balance you are going to get here, right? That is 25. <laughs> and if this GL is going to be assigned against financial statement version, then immediately this 25K is going to appear. So this is what the benefit and other benefit is, other benefit is this reconciliation account itself is going to, instead of assigning multiple customers against a financial statement version, let's suppose if you are having 10,000 customers, do you think that it is going to be assigned against financial statement version? No, it is not going to be assigned because if that is the case, in that case, like the financial statement version is just like 500 page book or 600 or 1000 page book kind of, you know, thing will be there if somebody is going to take the printout. Now, so here, instead of that, <coughs> this reconciliation GL is going to be assigned and you can get, so this amount is going to appear in the form of total receivable. At the same time, I said like, what about this? So this is like normal reconciliations, which we have created and that is assigned to the customer, right? Now, okay. Now, so and this is the let's suppose invoice amount. That means whenever we are going to post, whenever we are going to uh, supply the goods or services, so at the same time, an invoice is also going to be sent to the customer. And since this amount we have not received yet, so this is called your receivable. Now, at the same time, in certain case, we are receiving down payment also. Let's suppose your 50% down payment. Here also certain down payment we have received. Okay, so not against every customer, but of course against certain customers we have received the down payment. Right, so in financial statement, now here we have seen. So, in financial statement, let's suppose now. So, if we are going to, if the financial statement is going to be prepared, now what is the exact receivable, guys? So, exact receivable, this 25k is not exact receivable. Why? Because out of this 25k, look at here, this, this 6.5k we have already received. Right, so now what is happening guys from this one, this is supposed to be minus. So you need to, you need to have a consolidated figure of this total receivable at the same time. So this is going to be shown under asset side. At the same time, whatever down payment we have received from customer, that is also supposed to be, you, you should have a consolidated figure, right? So whatever customer down payment is there, guys, this is going to be treated as your liability. This is going to be treated as your liability. Why? Because uh, let's suppose. So now here, let's suppose why? Because uh, see amount we have received. OK, uh, it's not like this against this amount. It's not like that we have received the down payment against this amount, guys. OK, uh, it could be like, let's suppose in certain cases, simply we have received the down payment itself. Right. And invoice, it means like we have received the payment from customer. An invoice is not posted yet. In the sense, the goods are not delivered yet. If the goods are going to be delivered, then only the invoice is going to be posted. So in that case, only there are certain customers where like only in, if you talk about the open item, only down payment only we have received. So that is your liability. And even whatever these down payments are there, let's suppose down payment we have received and invoice is also posted. It means 2500 down payment I have received. 
and 5000 worth of goods we have sent to the customer but still these both are going to be treated as open item until unless we receive the remaining payment if we receive the remaining payment of 2500 then only all three line items are going to be cleared so until unless we receive the final payment both are going to be treated as an open item only okay so this is your asset and this is your liability so balance sheet is going to be prepared on a particular like let's suppose at during year end so during that multiple down payment still will be there that is going to be shown as an open open item right so that is our liability and at that particular time point of time we'll be having multiple such kind of liabilities and all so you need to have a consolidated figure of that liability also right this is how it is going to be shown in balance sheet that yes this much of worth of down payment we have received from customer so now in that case what is happening here <coughs> so how we are going to get the consolidated figure of this down payment so again we have to assign we have to set up one more reconciliation account right and whatever down payments are going to be posted guys the normal invoices whatever customer invoices are there that is going to be posted against a particular customer but that will hit this reconciliation account which is assigned in the customer master right whenever we are going to post a down payment so down payment is also going to be posted against a particular customer itself but that is going to hit this down payment reconciliation account and this is going to link with your customer reconciliation account in customer master you have only one field for reconciliation right in customer master we cannot assign multiple reconciliation account only one reconciliation account you can assign so whatever down payment reconciliation account is there that is going to be linked with the customer and that too against against an indicator that is called a special yield indicator so against this a special yield indicator this down payment reconciliation account is going to be assigned okay assigned with the normal reconciliation whenever you make payment whenever you are going to receive sorry whenever we receive down payment down payment always going to be posted against this special yield indicator a so this is how sap will come to know that this is a special transactions okay there is not a normal invoice this is not a normal payment this is a special transaction this is a special in the sense like this is a down payment okay so in that case automatically system is going to check okay so it is going to be posted against which customer system will come to know the customer number we are all three that is going to be given in customer master system is going to check which reconciliation account is there system will come to know that okay this 1005 and against this reconciliation account which gl is assigned which down payment reconciliation account is assigned that is also system is going to find out in background itself we'll do one thing guys we'll check it practically so here if we talk about the configuration steps same configuration steps are there the way we have done configurations for vendor same way we have to do the configurations for customer also you have to create down payment reconciliation account you have to link the down payment reconciliation account with the customer reconciliation account and then finally we are going to perform the testing okay so now let me do one thing guys so now just do one thing so come here create down payment reconciliation account f double zero 
go to the plus double zero. Okay. So down payment reconciliation account that is your liability guys. And here account receivable that is 1008. Right? So down payment reconciliation account I'm going to create customer down payment that I'm going to create. So 2008, I'll, I'll just make it 2008. 2008. And here you need to select liability balance sheet account. And then here we can make it like customer down payment customer down payment now here So we have created customer down payment account, down payment reconciliation account. Now, what next? The next one is, as I told you, this is cannot, this, this reconciliation account cannot be assigned to the customer master directly. Okay, so we have to link this down payment reconciliation account with the customer reconciliation account. What is the transaction code for this one, guys? OBXR. So US transaction code. And here we are already having special deal indicated. Special deal indicated. You assign against this a special deal indicator here. So what is our reconciliation account, guys? Normal reconciliation account is 1008, and a special deal account means the account which we have created just now. That is 2008. You just save it. So now, now what will happen? So if you have to perform testing. Okay, so first of all, we have to post a down payment. If that's 29, just do one thing. If that's 29. Okay. So look at here, the document type is digit, the document type is DZ, right? Now, so this down payment is going to be posted against which customer account? So you need to select the customer account. And then again, special GL indicator A. So here, if we are going to post this transaction, Look at here, this is a payment, but which kind of payment? We have selected special GL indicator A, right? So if you check special GL indicator A, it says, it says it's a down payment. Look at here, it's a down payment. Now, so here, system will come to know that this is a down payment. And which reconciliation GL is going to be hit, guys? So against this A, we have already assigned the GL account. Right, and what is the combination? The combination is special GL indicator A and a reconciliation account we have already assigned against this customer account. Right, so against this reconciliation account, we have assigned our down payment reconciliation account. So, system is going to trigger this A also, and system is going to trigger this customer also, and against the customer, whatever reconciliation account. See, I'll tell you guys, there, there could be chances that we can have multiple down payment reconciliation account also. Okay, multiple. See how multiple down payment reconciliation account. Now let's suppose you are having uh, two different kind of customers, three different kind of customers, like foreign customers, domestic customers. So two different reconciliation account is going to be created, right? 
so in that case so <clears throat> now if the client says that whatever down payment we are receiving from foreign let's go here <clears throat> so we are having two different reconciliation accounts 1005 1006 this is for foreign customer and this is for domestic customer okay now so for this one whatever down payment is going to be uh, you know received from foreign customers is going to be posted in a different reconciliation account and this is supposed to be posted against a different reconciliation account so what is happening guys the same is going to be here here it is going to be so now reconciliation account we are going to map like this not like this okay so here it is going to be so now here 2008 and 2009 right this reconciliation account is not there that is why system is showing error okay so likewise you can have multiple assignment okay so in that case what will happen guys so first of all with the help of if you if you talk about special gene indicator special gene indicator the first thing is like system should know that which, which kind of transaction it is whether it is normal payment or a down payment so of course how system will come to know that it is a down payment because down payment is going to be posted against special real indicator so system came to know this is a down payment now for down payment we are having two reconciliation account so which reconciliation account is going to hit guys so system will check okay this which customer number so this customer number in this customer if we have assigned this reconciliation account then this down payment reconciliation account is going to hit in that customer if this reconciliation account is hit then in that case this is going to hit right this is how it is going to happen now so we'll do one thing guys we'll do one thing okay so now here your account like if we are going to receive the down payment so it is going to be received in a particular bank account right so which bank account guys that bank jail also you have to give next is amount so with how much amount any amount small amount i'm going to give here and then you can specify the text if you want to so press enter here and again here same amount you can simulate if you want to see the accounting entry here so your customer account is going to be credited and HDFC bank account is going to be debited post it so look at here document number 1074 now so now what is happening guys we'll do one thing okay so now now we are going to post an invoice fp70 Okay, so here give you a customer number. Okay, so now give an account amount one thousand here. okay and now for this like whatever invoice is going to be sent guys right i think this was the number so already we have received a down payment give sales revenue account here press enter system is going to show you a notification that already we are having a down payment of 400 right now so here 
the customer is going to be debited and sales revenue is going to be credited what next pretty simple guys the next one is so first of all you just go to fp l 5n and sorry class n fpl 5n so here you take the customer account that is 00370 and if you execute then we are having only only this invoice amount itself is there down payment is not appearing why because down payment is not a normal transaction this is a special transaction right so here you need to select special GL transactions and then execute so look at here down payment is also going to appear both are open item only both are open item only right so guys at this point of time if the balance sheet is going to be prepared you have to show this 400 also in balance sheet this 400 also supposed to appear and this 1000 also supposed to appear this is the part of liability this is the part of assets 1000 worth of invoice here posted right so that is like our receivables guys so this is the part of assets right and this down payment 400 is the part of liability okay so now this is both is going to be both going to be shown and here this is how we can calculate also like total down payment we have received worth of like 6k and total account receivable showing like 26k 26k minus 6k 20k is the exact receivable guys now so you just do one thing now here post the payment <coughs> and how much amount guys so amount is like uh, 1000 worth of invoices there 400 down payment we have already received so 600 final amount we are going to receive guys and what is your customer this is what the customer right now if you you have to do one thing if you are going to press enter, in that case, only normal transaction in the sense this this is going to appear. Invoice amount itself is going to appear, right? We have to bring our down payment also because in this case, there will be a difference. Look at here, we have entered 600. System is assigned 1000, right? So if down payment is going to appear, then only it is going to be adjusted because here this is plus symbol in the sense debit amount, right? And if we have down payment that is having credit symbol, that is credit like credit means minus so 1000 minus 400 so 600 will be there so this is how system is going to assign only 600 here right so in that case once again go to have this so what you have to do guys pretty simple here you have to give your customer number and here special deal indicator you are going to give press enter here so look at here now a special transaction is also appearing that is your down payment and 1000 against 400 this down payment is there it is there in negative symbol 1000 minus 400 how much system has assigned here 600 and how much we have entered 600 itself right and if you simulate here so this is what the accounting entry is going to be your bank account is going to be debited with 600 right now here your customer account is going to be credited with 1000 and again customer account is going to be debited with 1000 the logic is pretty simple guys this 1000 is going to be one line item is going to be created for 1000 credit so what is happening guys this 1000 credit is going to clear this line item 1000 minus and 1000 plus is going to be cleared and the next one is for your down payment this is down payment right so this down payment is going to be cleared this is 400 negative is there and look at here here once we post the transaction there is one line item is going to be created by system this is 400 positive value right debit value so this debit is going to clear the credit 
okay and overall <coughs> what is the total receivable guys so here 1000 minus 400 600 only we are going to receive in the bank you just post it <coughs> And you refresh it. So look at here, it's gone. It's in the line item, got cleared. So this is a very very simple topic, guys. Very simple what you say this one. Down payment means like the way we have made the treatment for the vendor, in the same way the customer down payments are also going to be posted. So that's all in this session, guys.